Hi everyone and welcome to the latest video at the moment. So this will be again about laying down pre-break, making complex molds. So the right mold is ready for silicon bagging. The left part is used, so uh, a pre-break mold used to make pre-break parts out of that. So that is the mold that was finished in the last tutorial. So you can check everything back about how to lay everything down. In this tutorial it will be a bit more about uh, the story behind it. Um, if you want to see the full 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 tutorials um, I have two videos that should pop up on the right right now um, being more detailed about how to lay it down um, when to use which layers and so on. So here I'm using a release agent um, it's always the same release agent you just have to apply it in multiple layers and this one is heat resistance and so on so I'll be doing two molds in this tutorial just to show you the beauty of pre break you can work simultaneously on different projects so while doing um, the two molds at the same time uh, you don't have to be scared about resin curing uh, mixing resin uh, being careful um, with all those factors you can work on a peaceful uh, way making all your molds parts at the same time so for example you could have 10 molds next to each other and just work with pre-break um, all at once without having the first mold curing while you're in the second or the third mold so this is the pre-break once again I'll be using then you have some uh, cutting devices like scissors, a standing knife and so on. So for the parts I'm using this layup so first a finishing layer then a 420 gram square meter and then a 200 gram square meter pre-break. So for the complex molds uh, you can see the flange on the top this will be a gutter going all around just to have the silicon fit into that so you don't need any tacky tape or something just to close those molds for vacuum the setup is almost the same I use a finishing layer then go to a 400 uh, mostly as a packing layer giving some stiffness and then some 200 leftovers just to add on those uh, tight flanges here's a small tip I wanted to share with you guys so it was kinda late I was running out of glass so I found a new way just to protect myself and my fingers uh, to be stuck into the pre-break so it looks a bit like frog um, toes or um, hands and so on it's quite weird to look at but it works quite well so by using those little tips I can just easily remove them uh, put them back on while working with the pre-break so this is the first layer going on top of it just work from the center work your way out to the flanges make sure that everything is tightly together and then just like in the previous tutorial it's almost the same while making the molds um, it's quite similar you just have an extra flange the part is a bit bigger uh, enabling it to use it with vacuum bagging that I'll be making in the next tutorial so a silicon bag um, I just use this um, shot out of the videos just to show you how much care you have to put into it just to make sure you have no air bubbles because this is the most important part while working with pre -break. the biggest advantage of working with pre -break is you just have the time to do everything very carefully so this is the tool I'm using I've already used it many many times you just have to make it once mm, it's just a board of plexi and then just sand it out uh, all the edges so it doesn't cut or um, distort the material So here I'm backing uh, those tight edges with some 200. So this is only for the edges, uh, just to make sure that uh, those edges are uh, strong enough and can withstand the pressure and so on for the vacuum bag. 
So this is how I work, just lay it down with the backing film on it and then you can just remove the backing film and have a tight um, fit onto the mold. So this is a 400, uh, going all around the mold now, um, fitting all the edges uh, and the entire big mold I'm making. Maybe a small note why I'm using uh, that expensive material of pre brick Well, for me it's quite easy to work with. I did those tests just to see if I can make bigger parts, uh, like for example in automotive parts and all, and so and so on. You can get parts that big. So for me it was about testing that. Secondly, uh, those molds are resistant to very high temperatures. So the higher temperature you cure your pre brick uh, the faster it will go. So my plan is just to run those molds at 160 degrees having the layers on the inside and curing in around 45 minutes maybe 30 minutes I'll just have to check it out. So here once again um, it's quite similar to the previous tutorial and the videos I've made previously about uh, the other shin guards uh, make sure you press everything tightly against the mold no air bubbles all trapped um, go into those tight corners um, that will do the difference in the finishing of your part so this is how it looks like um, keep in mind that while working at room temperatures the pre prep will get more and more tacky um, sometimes having it to lift from the edges so while adding this backing layer as a release film um, you just press everything tightly against the part again but make sure you work from the middle out so you just can add some pressure and so on without having the weave distorting or lifting from the mold so this is how it looked like at the end um, you see a lot of bridging into the material and so on but that's not such a big problem because the pre break from easy composites is quite resin rich giving you some room for errors so this is the mold backed into the material with a breather fabric on top here I'm doing a drop test just to see if I have full vacuum what is drop test you just put it into the bag see if you have a full vacuum for around uh, 30 minutes while the pump is shut down and then you're ready to go to put it into the oven so this is the part 10 hours later coming out of the oven um, as you can see the, the bag is making bits of a different noise um, it sounds much more uh, brittle and so on so it's more difficult to reuse the bag if you're not careful with it because it will shear quite quick um, compared to the bagging film before being into the oven so right here I'm removing the breather fabric then you can just remove packing films um, you might have some leftovers but you can just remove them at the end so this is the part popping out of the mold um, I was having quite of a dull finish that's probably because of the release agents I've used a bit too much or less I don't know um, might also be the molds um, that I used are not fully 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 cured um, having a small reaction with the pre break added into the parts but at this moment I'm getting much more better results out of it I just wanted to include that shot because I've put it on my Facebook as well um, carbon fiber can be very very um, uh, sharp uh, cutting into your hand so I got a deep cut into my hand by uh, removing uh, a part out of the mold cutting right through my glove into my finger so just be safe with that use some gloves maybe um, same process right here for the bigger mold then you can just use some molding tools like I'm using here uh, just go all around the parts I was having some um, difficulties no it's it was not that difficult but it's quite of a complex mold having some tight edges and so on and also something I didn't plan is that those 
flanges came out of uh, with the molds so this wasn't planned but it was quite of a good surprise um, because it will give the molds a bit more stiffness um, but just like I said this wasn't planned but it's a good result I'll be using more and more into my molds just to have some extra uh, stiffness into the molds so as you can see here there was some leftovers of resin but that can all be removed and I'll show you that in the next video so the next video will be about the silicon bag uh, later on after the clear coat video thanks for watching by clicking on the left video you can go to the next video and when you click on the right video you can follow the previous tutorials I've made about pre prepreg carbon fiber more than 500 people already like my Facebook page, so have a look, maybe you might like it as well. If you like this video, give my video a thumbs up, comment and share with your friends, they might like it as well maybe. So, subscribe for more and see you next time.